Well, I've been fascinated by what the brain does for a long time, since childhood. So it's quite hard to believe that that sort of mushy-looking thing can do anything. We have wonderful theories, but these theories don't all together match together. There are holes in them, there are missing things. And these are great puzzles. I just feel we need to know the answers to these puzzles. As a result of some of my studies in, well, in mathematical logic, I came to a view which was that our conscious understanding of things cannot be simply computation. Other people seem to view that whatever understanding is, it must be a computational activity. But there's good reason for believing that's not true. And these reasons come from mathematical logic. You certainly can have mathematical systems where you just follow them and they can prove certain things. But it comes to a point where they can't make the decision. Computers as such will never be conscious because consciousness is something quite different. And understanding is a feature of that. So I don't believe that computers ever understand what they're doing. They're just following rules. Understanding and meaning are qualities which are not simply computational. But if it's not computation, then whatever is going on in the brain, which I do believe to be a physical action, has to be something outside the physics we know. And the idea here is that we, when we make our own decisions, we are employing this aspect of physics, which we don't fully understand. We don't really understand it at all. It's not that we just don't fully understand. It's something really new, which I believe consciousness depends upon. I do think that consciousness is in the brain somewhere, and that somehow these choices between A and B, which are not simply choices like that, they're, they're much more subtle. That's when a conscious experience, or let's say a proto-conscious experience takes place. Consciousness is a much more complicated thing, which involves many, many of these proto-conscious elements working somehow in concert. I think that it is important to understand what consciousness is, just understanding more deeply how the physical world hangs together, how it operates um, at all levels, very tiny levels, right out to the levels of cosmology. It's important to humanity to understand what really lies at the basis of things. It means things which are not animate, but it also means conscious beings like us. It may mean conscious beings not like us. And that's an important quest as well.